Tani Otoshi. This is going to be on our new advanced Nagi list for 2021. This is a technique that I will use when I'm behind sometimes. Not directly behind, but usually off a little bit to one side or another. Say that, where someone's trying to you, they're trying to do a throw, and they do an arm drag to get behind them, or they punch and do a parapet check. Whatever you have to do to get behind the arm and get around to their side. Try to get around a pillow just for demonstrative purposes. If you want to do this with a little bit of weight, I recommend a heavy bag or a duffel bag. Pull with some clothes. And unlike Ushiro Nagi, I don't want to be directly behind them. I'm going to get a little bit off to one side. And I am going to fall to my own back, at least for judo purposes. I don't want to land on my shoulders and get an upon with them on top of me. I need to get a little bit off to the side. I need it for practical self-defense purposes. I just don't want all their weight landing on top of me. I need to be enough behind them where I can use my body weight to help pull them backwards. So I don't want to just be teed up with them. Just a little bit around the corner. I'm standing behind their legs and I'm just around behind their hip. Not square behind them, not teed up with them, but about a 45 degree angle. And I got a nice lock on their body. Can't quite reach around, you can grab the gi or under the armpits, it's fine, but ideally I'm going to grab with my hands together. From here, all I'm going to do is slide. I mean, a lot of people will just sit down, it's not quite enough pressure. I'm sliding, dropping my weight up behind me. So I slide and drop. This is a great throw that works on people that are much bigger and heavier than you. Um, this is not a great finishing position. I'm on my back. I do still have their back, but usually when I follow up with this, I will throw this leg up and over to try to take a mount position from there. But the throw itself is simply just sliding and dropping. I'm going to practice that full motion for a good finish. Slide, drop, and roll into full mount. You can practice that both with and without assistance. Again, I'm here. Do as full motion as I can. I'm sliding. Shooting another leg up and over, using my momentum to go up and over. I'm not going to just slide and throw, come to a stop, and then try to reach my body weight over. I'm using the dropping and throwing motion, the one complete motion to throw them and then end up on top. Slide and end up on top. Behind them. Maybe they went over their throat, try to turn to me, I grab, and I try. Or just to simply practice the throw itself, grab, and drop. And again, I get a nice deep on, even if one of my inside shoulders touches the ground, I'm dropping both of their shoulders straight back. And those of you who use to practice our old version of Tai Toshi, we had a different version. It looked a lot like uh, Oso Dogari. I'm actually facing them. I get off balance. Instead of sweeping the inside leg, I actually step across behind both legs, a little bit like Tai Otoshi, except from the front, and I'm throwing them over those legs. That's not the version we're currently practicing. I'm using the judo version, Tani Otoshi, belly drop one last time. Get about a 45 degree angle off the back, attached to the hip, lock into my body, and sliding. To drop them back. Good luck practicing Tani Otoshi at home.